had this trailer in my to watch list for a few days, not terribly long because it came out, I think on February 26th, I think is what this is dated. And I've had it in my watch list since then. I just haven't had a chance to get around to it. Um, this is for a series on Netflix called The Letter for the King. So that interested me right away. And the thumbnail, I don't know, it just showed like a group of people, but there wasn't really anything inherently grabby about the thumbnail, but there was something about it plus the title that, that made me kind of think this would be something that I would be interested in. And then I believe in the description here, which this is uh, coming from the Netflix um, channel, um, it, I think it said something about a fantasy uh, series. And it sounds like maybe it takes place like a long time ago. Um, but I might be mistaken about that. So let's just go ahead and check it out. If you set your mind, if you set your mind to it. Yeah. If you do, okay. if you do I know you can do it. You will become, will become a knight. A knight. <laughs> the old world. Sweet, so sweet, and the fire, and the fire. But we are start. about to start. We'll destroy, we'll destroy as the thing that still remains. Take this lesson. Must deliver it to the king. The future, the future, the entire kingdom depends on the thousands. Thousands will die. How do you get a letter to the king? You think just anyone can waltz in and see the most powerful man in the world? We face it. We face it together. I carry the letter. I carry the letter. You ride the horse. She's sweetheart. <laughs> oh, okay. It's based on a novel. And crush, and crush anyone that lies in your way. We'll never outrun we'll never them. This will never work. This will never work. It will work. It will work. Remember, remember, we've got her. We've got her. And she's the most, and she's the most scum ruthless scum of us all. I meant that in a good way. It's up to people like us to do something. Tell me where the letter is. We can have all the sun press. Is there anyone in the three kingdoms who doesn't want you dead? For the moment I saw you, I feel the power, I feel the power in you. No? What power has this, sh has this got. shrimp got? Unless we stop it, people are going to die. Go! I don't care who they send. We're going to deliver this letter. Stop! Stop! Oh. <laughs> We're going to die trying. Okay, so it's coming out pretty soon. A couple weeks. Um, if that. So this looks like it's geared towards, you know, like the young adult crowd. So it doesn't really seem like this is something that's um, going to be super like harsh or raw or anything like that. Um, I, I might be wrong. I don't know the source material, but when I was watching this, I was thinking to myself, so it looks like it takes place in this like old, like um, European type land, right? from a long time ago. And uh, the first thing that struck me, but, but of course, you know, this is a fantasy series. So, uh, but I, I noticed, so the diversity, right? You know, there's, we, this is all about diversity um, in today's time where uh, like old classic stories, books, shows, movies, whatever are being changed to reflect different types of people. Uh, the problem with that is um, taking already well-established characters and switching them up just for the hell of it or, uh, you know, just, I don't know, score some type of points with the audience um, and also to, like, rewrite history and present history uh, in a way that wasn't really like things that have been happening in Doctor Who, I understand. Um, so, uh, and, and they do this also just... It, it's not just in history or, or like real type events or real historical type settings, but it's also 
in other fiction stories that have been established, like, like I already said, you know, where they're swapping out things. So I, I noticed that right away because at first I had sort of kind of, it starts and I sort of kind of forgot that it's supposed to be fantasy. And I'm like, well, this looks like it's like European and the, the people that it's showing in here don't really fit with the way that it would have been at that time. But then I remembered, oh yeah, this is fantasy. So, you know, people that write fantasy works, they write, they can write it, they can make whatever sort of world they want to create. So obviously this isn't a real world. This is like an alternate type of world. And then I, I started to think about uh, the source material. And I wondered how true this is to the source material. So a lot of times, um, if I'm not familiar with the source material and I go in and I see something and I don't know the way a character is supposed to be, you know, and so maybe it just kind of goes right over my head. But I'm curious now to find out about the source material and see if they've gone and tinkered with it, you know, for those reasons that I mentioned, which in my opinion, like I've, I've already I've already discussed before, not cool. I don't like that. Um, the premise of the story itself is a little interesting, but like I said, it seems like it's geared more towards a young adult crowd. Now, I don't have an issue really with young adult type stuff because there, there's some young adult, um, series that I really, really liked, like a lot. I liked, uh, Harry Potter. I mean, come on. Um, the Hunger Games. I did like the Percy Jackson uh, book series, even though that was a little bit more lighthearted. That wasn't really as quite as uh, serious and gripping as Hunger Games or even Harry Potter. So young adult can be done in such a way that it appeals to adults. Um, so, you know, it this isn't necessarily a turnoff for me that it I'm perceiving it as a young adult Um type of story, but it's, they're trying to, you know, obviously, um, overlay it with a sense of seriousness. And certainly it does seem to be a bit more serious than like the Percy Jackson, uh, series of movies, let's say, or books. But at the same time, I'm sen I'm, I'm getting a sense that it's not really going to be something that's just going to be super like, um, critical or raw or harsh. Like I mentioned at the very beginning, um, so, you know, I, I don't know. Um, it, it is something that I, I wouldn't mind checking out, uh, just to maybe find out more about the books, maybe, or, or no, they said it was one book, right? And I did not recognize the author's name. Anyway, um, it's something that I'm curious. And if I watch this, I think they, I think it's a series. If I watch this series, and like it enough, then I might be interested to check out the book. And so that would be probably one of the main reasons that I check this out, like The Witcher. Um, I became interested in um, listening to the source material of The Witcher, excuse me, when I saw the series, but um, be because I knew by that point, I knew it had been based on a series of books, which intrigued me. So then I was obviously, um, well, to me, I was more interested to check it out because I knew that there was um, books behind it. And uh, so I feel like that might be kind of like the motivating factor for me to watch this. It, it doesn't really, it's not grabbing me enough to the point that I, I want to watch it as soon as I can. Um, but uh, it's not something that I feel like I don't want to watch, but it's like, there's other things I'd probably check out, um, before this, like the, the, um, show that I, uh, did a, tr um, a reaction for previously, the, what was the name of it now? The one on HBO, but it's HBO. So, um, oh shoot, <laughs> I just did it and I can't remember the name before nurse. Yeah, that one, <laughs> like I'm, I feel like I'm more drawn to before nurse than to this just because the subject matter is a little bit more appealing to me i don't mind fantasy but it's not my favorite it's not right on up there so um anyway whatever okay uh well um if anybody has read this book let me know what you think about it um and and how you think the this show is going to compare to the book 
if you think it's going to be better or if the book's better. Most of the time, the source material, the written source material is better than the film um, product that's put out there. But sometimes the opposite is the case. And so I'm curious uh, to see whether that's going to be what happens with this. But I guess I won't know until I've had a chance to consume both of them. So, okay, well, that is it for this. And um, I'm going to quit for tonight. Bye.